Recycling your aluminium packaging at the curbside or on the go is always the best option. But if the metal ends up in the general waste, it can still be recovered and recycled. Every year, more than 11 million tonnes of black bag and municipal waste is collected by local councils in the UK. This waste is then transported to energy from waste facilities. These facilities use incinerators to burn the waste and the heat generated allows for the production of electricity, which powers homes throughout the country. The residue left behind in the incinerators is known as incinerator bottom ash, or IBA. This ash contains an important amount of ferrous and non-ferrous metals, including aluminium packaging. The incineration followed by an IBA processing allows the recovery of clean aggregates and valuable metals, including aluminium packaging, which otherwise would have been lost forever if the waste had gone to landfill. On average, 500,000 tonnes of household waste generates 100,000 tonnes IBA. From 100,000 tonnes of processed IBA, the following can be recovered. 90,000 tonnes of aggregate, which is sold to the construction industry. 6,000 tonnes of scrap ferrous metal, which is sold to the steel industry. And 4,000 tonnes of non-ferrous IBA, which is sold to companies such as Scan Metals, who specialise in the recovery of the aluminium, brass, zinc, copper and precious metals from this material. The non-ferrous IBA arrives at Scan Metals, where it is stored in segregated bays prior to treatment. Each contracted delivery is individually treated, so the exact amount of metal recovered can ultimately be reported back to the energy from waste plant that treated the waste and generated the IBA. The material received contains, on average, 50% non-ferrous metal and 50% dust and aggregates. To recover these different metal streams, Scan Metals uses a unique dry process and the IBA is first pre-treated to ensure the material is fully dry and dust-free. The clean and dry material is transported to a second stage where the material is sized and the various non-ferrous metals recovered using a range of specialist processing equipment. This equipment ranges from powerful eddy currents to separate out the non-ferrous metals from the aggregates to the latest sensor sorting technology, such as inductive sorting and X-ray technology, which is used to separate out the different types of metals. Approximately 60% of the metal recovered by scan metals is aluminium. Of this, it is estimated that more than 85% of the aluminium comes from packaging, such as aluminium foil, beverage cans, and aluminium food trays and aluminium aerosols. Every metal fraction recovered by scan metals is sold to secondary smelters, where it is melted down and reused in the manufacture of metal components such as aluminium engine blocks for cars, copper to make pipes, or brass for taps. Additionally, they can be used to make chemical compounds such as zinc oxide for use in paint. All the metal that goes to energy from waste facilities is therefore recoverable. Nothing goes to waste. So, 11 million tonnes of household waste generates approximately 30,000 tonnes of aluminium, which would not be possible without the energy from waste and IBA process. The energy and resulting carbon emissions needed to generate one tonne of primary metal through mining, processing of the rock and smelting can be 10 times more than that required to recover and recycle one tonne of used metal. One tonne of recycled aluminium can be used to produce 65,000 beverage cans, which saves enough energy to power a TV for nearly 30 years. Visit our websites to learn more.